welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing the overview of pocket pens, finally. I've been reviewing a bunch of pocket pens and uh, I haven't even done them all, um, but I wanna do an overview of all the ones that I have right here. Some are modern, some are vintage, um, and um, a bunch of these were sent to me by Dr. Brownie, so thank you, Brownie. Um, but some of them are mine and I don't really focused on like a type of pen like this, but I think it would be interesting. Um, I'm gonna like go through them fairly quickly. Some of them I've done an in-depth review of, some of them I haven't, and I probably won't because there's just too much pocket pen to go around, if I'm honest. Um, there is like one or two pens in this club that is still going to be reviewed, um, but I'll talk about that when we actually go <laughs> switch the shop. All right, let's do it. All right, here we have the full club of the pins, and um, I am gonna like pick them out one by one, but I just wanted to show you what the hoard looked like. Now, they're divided up by, um, these are mine, and these are the ones I got from Brownie to review, and then there's a distinction here too. These are the modern ones, and these are vintage pocket pens. As you can see, there is some variation in sizes. So some of you might, for example, call the Twisby Mini uh, a larger pocket pen or the Stargazer, the Pilot Stargazer, which I admittedly think is a quite big pen to be a pocket pen. And then here we have a Parker Slim Fold, which is also slightly larger. I would still say it's fairly pocketable, um, but if you look at for example, the Koiko Lilliput, that is the true baby pen. Uh, it's very slim and very small. And then here we have the One Kai Mini, also very small. Anyway, I'm just gonna go through them one by one very quickly. I'm probably gonna move these to the side because then you have a white background on one pen. Um, and I might grab a couple to compare. But yeah, that is the overview idea. Um, hopefully I don't ramble on too long, but as you know me, I love to ramble. <laughs> okay, there we go. Zoom in and move in. So I'm gonna start with the modern ones that Brownie sent me. This is the Sailor Mini. I did a review of this, a full review, and this is a really small Sailor. Like, this is the smallest Sailor I've ever seen. It's much smaller than the Pro Gear Slim, and it's very cute. I didn't love the nib on this one because it's super, super fine but it is a really cute pen and honestly if you get something with a butter nib if it's available um it, i think it would be great um postable very good but like super small if you put the this is a modern pocket pen if you put another modern pocket pen next to it which is the pilot stargazer stella s 90s um you could argue that maybe this one isn't as pocket pen friendly i think you could still definitely pocket it, um, but it is a lot small, uh, a lot bigger than the Sailor. These two have gold nibs, both are black, and I prefer the uh, Stella Mini S over the Sailor Mini. I'm a big fan of Pilot and of Sailor, so it's a really hard choice, but this one just feels a little more heavy and solid, like a real pen pen. All right, one of my favorites in the bunch was this Franco and Kristoff, and it's the 40, which is their pocket pen. As you can see, I haven't cleaned it out yet. I will, but yeah. Um, I love the way this looks. I love the frosted material that Franklin Kristoff does. And then this pen posts so deeply and it's so satisfying. Like the balance is perfect on this pen. It is absolutely great. And then, I know their nibs are just great. I love them. Um, this is not the only small pen Franklin Kristoff does. Here we have a 45, which is similar in size. It's slightly larger and doesn't have that lovely frosted finish, but it's still a really cool pen. I don't know exactly what this finish is, um, but it feels really nice. Uh, I have one myself. It's like the purple uh, cherry, black cherry type finish, and they are just really good. Again, with a number five nib on this. And you can use this one on posted, but I would prefer to do posted. And it's still super, super balanced, which is which I love about Franklin Kristoff, honestly. They're really good at this. 
and they make so many interesting finishes. So if you're looking for a modern pocket pen with an interesting finish, I think Franklin Christoph is the way to go. I know I've been gushing about Franklin Christoph a lot, but I just really like the brand. All right, and then a vintage. I gushed about this pen a lot, <laughs> uh, especially about the clip. It is so cute. Um, this is the Schaefer Tuckaway or Tucky. Did a full video about this. It is a really enjoyable pen. This is ridged, which I like. And then if you, you can see that it's really, really short. Posting it makes it full size, full size pen. And also not unbalanced. It's great. What I think helps with the balance is that the clip is really small. Now, of course, that is not the reason the clip is super small. Um, but it does really help with the balance because a metal clip can add a lot of weight. And for this, it really doesn't. It's a great, great little pocket pen. If you can find one, get it. They're lovely. Also, one of the more interesting filling systems. But if you want to know more about that, you should watch my full video about this. Because I did one. Since we're getting into the vintage pens right now, I'm just going to grab all the pilots that I got from Brownie. I think it's three of them. And I did videos about two of them. Um, these two are basically very similar. These two are elites. This is an elite with a 22K nib. This is an elite with an 18K nib. So the 22K one is kind of slightly more special in the sense that it has a high grade or higher grade, wow, higher grade uh, gold nib. Great, great writer. Love how it posts. Again, very deeply as it should. Great balance. Love the weird nibby situation right there. But yeah, I only did a video about one of these because they are very, very similar. Um, and to be fair, I don't want to clog your feeds with just pocket pins. But yeah, I mean, they're so cute and so great. And then this one is a special one. I called it a little gadgety, uh, but it is great. It's the telescoping pilot, which is the pen that is basically long, short, short, long, with that really cute nib. It's, it's so unique. It's such a pilot thing to do, I feel, and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna move the telescoping long short away because I want to show you some sailor pocket pens and some uh, well one platinum from roughly the same era because they are all super similar as you can see these are all black all pocket pens roughly the same size I would say the the platinum might be a little longer um, and stands out the most um, this is a Sailor 21K nib. Um, I think uh, this is the one that I have not uh, inked. This one is the one I've inked. It's the same pen, but with a zoom nib. Lovely. Video will come about this because that nib is just amazing. But as you can see, they're like very similar. Like little copy clones. Which, I mean, I don't mind, but... If you're looking for a pocket pen, you could either look for Sailor, Pilot, or Platinum. They are in abundance, and um, they're all good. Uh, I must admit, I haven't used the Platinum yet. Um, I will do that. I am very curious about it. I like the way this nib looks and with the gold detail right there. But all in all, they are very, very similar. And they also give, in my opinion, like a similar vibe to the writing experience but yeah they're very similar very cool um i mean my preference i think would be sailor but it's it's skewed right now because this is a zoom nib and it's a great nib the zoom nib is very rare on these pocket pens so yeah it might might be pilot but i don't know I like them all. That is the issue. I like all the pens. Um, but yeah. So, these are very alike. These are all the vintage pox. Uh, aside from 
my slim fold, but the slim fold huh, is mine. I'll talk about that in a second. I just want to show you them, like, how um, similar they are in length to the other pocket pens that are modern. And I have to zoom out for this a little bit. Um, except for the Sealer Mini, it seems like it's a little smaller. And then the Stella S is slightly bigger. But yeah, they are all very similar in their sizes. All right. We've seen a bunch. Let us move on to the next couple, which mostly are modern, and they are also all mine. Now, I had to look around for my pocket pens. I used to have a Shone design pen. I sold it because it really was not my cup of tea. Um, I did do a video about it, um, so if you're interested in that, you can always go look at it. But these are the types of pocket pens I have. Now I have more Kueco Sports. This is a Kueco Sport and I have more Toys V Minis. I don't think it's important to show them all. Um, I think the most interesting one is this one. It is also the, like, well, it's very similar to the Toys V Mini, but it is the longest one. And this is a Parker Slimfold. And I think this is the first vintage pen I ever bought with gold nib and a really peculiar smell. This pen has always smelled I don't know, like a musty old book storage thing. Um, I don't know where this pen was housed before, um, but somehow I never got rid of the smell, um, and I secretly kind of like it. But yeah, this is a vintage Parker, um, and it's very light and very small. It's called the Slim Fold. It has that arrow clip, and then I love this uh, cap band detail. It's really cool. And then it has the tiniest nib on here, which I think is really cute. And it's it's a pretty good writer. I, I don't really use it anymore, and I really should, because it's quite an interesting pen. It has a sack filler, um, and it's still pliable, which is good. Uh, I don't know if I got this restored or just got lucky, but yeah, that is the slim fold. I think you don't need to post this one, because it is long enough, but if you post it, it uh, doesn't become back heavy. It's still really balanced. This is just for people who like slim pens though. Fair warning. And here we have Twist Me Mini that I actually have inked up with shimmer ink. This is like my go-to shimmer ink pen, if I'm honest. And the Twist Me Mini, I use it on posted a lot because it is, it's a pocket pen, a mini, um, but it is really still very usable and posted. It's a screw cap to post, which I like because it makes it really solid, but the Twisby has the issue that it does become a little back heavy when you post it. I don't like how heavy this is right now, so that's probably why I use it unposted. Not everyone will be, will be able to do that, um, so keep it in mind if you want to use uh, this pocket pen. Now, a very cheap option is the Moon Man Wine Kai Mini. As you can see, this one's kind of dirty. Um, but this is a really cheap pocket pen and um, it was not well cleaned. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but this is, this is like a really thick mini pen and it is also, I think, the shortest one I have. Um, if you post this though, and screw to post, you screw it on, it becomes such a nicely balanced pen and it's definitely long enough. Um, I've always eyedroppered this pen, works really well, and it's such a good writer. I have a thing for um, Moon Man nibs. Um, I just really think they're good, um, and they're really worth their money. So this is the Wankai Mini. I have a couple of these. I also have a pink one, and it's just a joy to use. And this one, I would say, is actually so pocketable, because it's like super small. What is the smallest pen? I think the Sailor Mini is the smallest pen, uh, aside from this and the Quaco Lily Putt, but it is just smaller. It is thicker, but I, I appreciate that because it makes it more usable. All right, get this, buy this, it's great. The Quaco Lily Putt, this is such a small pen and it's so light and so slim. It's like similarly uh, in width as the Parker, and if you uncap this, the nib will appear. It's just a Koiko nib, as you know, Koiko does decent nibs. 
and then it is screwed to post and it becomes a decently sized pen. This pen is extremely light. Now there are multiple versions of the, this pen, multiple materials that they are made out of. This one is the aluminum one and it is a very, very light. This is not my favorite. It is very it is very usable and pocketable, but it's not a pen that I grab out of my collection very easily or very quickly because it is just so tiny. It's such a baby. But it is a good offering. And then the other offering you could get from Koweko is a slightly bigger pen, but I think way more usable. Um, now you have to buy the clip separately. This is a black clip that I took from a different Koweko. Um, but they're not too expensive and it's very doable. This is the Quaco Sport. And this is decent unposted, but is perfect posted. Posts really deeply, which makes it not too back heavy. And the balance is still great and very usable. And I really, this is a lavender one, I believe. I really enjoy this color. And the nib I have on this is the double broad. And the Double Broad by Koweko is such a great nib. It's amazing. Now, what I like about the Sport more than I like about the Lily Putt or the AL Sport, which is also aluminum, is that you can eyedropper these. So you can put a buttload of ink in there and just carry it around. Now, pocket carry does mean that you might have some burping or spitting into the cap. That is the risk. If you wanna play that game, you gotta play boldly. All right, last Kueko, and also last pen, is the L Sport, which is basically just a sport, but it is a heavier version for people who like heavier pens. And to be fair, it is not that much heavier because it's aluminum, but it does feel more solid into your uh, hand and the writing experience is a little different. Um, they are the same size though, so same pocketability. Posting this does make it a little cap heavy. Like, it does want to fall down and is heavier. That is personal preference. Of course, some people won't mind it. I don't really mind it. Um, but yeah, you got to think about that when you buy either of these. I use these unposted quite often. Uh, I don't mind using them unposted and they look, I think they look fairly normal in my hand. Yeah. If we talk about the modern pocket pens, let me grab them. Um, there's quite a lot. The modern pocket pens that I have, what would have my, like my, my preference? That's a really hard question. I I think like for utility and pocketability and um, writing experience, I'd probably go for the Quaco Sport. Now I like the Twisby Mini a lot, but it's just not my favorite pocket pen experience. Also it is quite much, quite a lot bigger than the Quaco. So yeah, I would say Quaco Sport. Of course the Franklin Kristoffs are great. But I would still worry a little bit about putting this one in a pocket or the 45 in a pocket. This one I would not worry about at all. So if you're actually thinking about using this as a pocket pocket pen, I think the Quaco Sport is great. And then second place goes to the Wonkai Mini. Second place because I do not have a clip for this. I haven't found a clip for this. And this, if you want, you can still clip it to something. Um, so yeah. That's a weird ending, maybe, or a surprising choice, but that is what it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird pocket extravaganza overview. I'm grabbing all of them right now. Um, and I hope it was informative and that you can make a decision about your pocket pen or just like looking at all of these pocket pens because they are a marvel to behold if I'm honest, especially this side. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I talked enough. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll get back to you sometime. Not soon, but sometime. All right, thank you guys for watching again. Bye-bye.